Hey guys, welcome back to Rome in Your Home. I'm Jamie. And I'm Randy, and we are so excited to show you all around Telluride. When we were finally able to travel again after two years of being stationary, Colorado was the place we couldn't wait to go. We plan to visit nine different places in nine weeks, and Telluride was at the top of our list and the place we are most excited to see. We were seeing pictures of this cool mountain town with these enormous mountains at the end of the street. It looked just like a Hallmark movie and we just had to see if it was real. Well, it is real and way better than we could have ever imagined. It's our new favorite place on earth and we ended up staying close by for six weeks so that we could visit often. During all of our travels to 27 states and all the amazing places we've been to, we both agree that we could stay and tell you to ride forever. Except we wouldn't want to be there for the winter. <laughs> Those roads were scary enough without dealing with the snow and ice. Plus it's one of the most expensive places to live. And unless we find out we got an inheritance somewhere, I don't think we're moving there anytime soon. We are so excited to show you Telluride and take you with us as we ride the gondola with the best views in America. Hey Jay, what are we doing today? Heading to Telluride. Check out the town, so excited. Oh yeah, and also looking forward to riding that gondola up the mountain village. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so much fun. We loved the drive to Telluride from where we were staying in Dolores. It was an hour and a half on County Road 145, but with all the awesome views, it went fast and we enjoyed every minute of it. For RVers to stay near Telluride, you need to do some research and book early. There are several RV parks and campgrounds between Telluride and Dolores. We stayed in Dolores, which gave us easy access to Mesa Verde, Ure, Silverton, Durango, and still be within driving distance to Telluride. There is a lot of public land and free camping along County Road 145. When you're in Telluride, you have a front row seat to the most beautiful views of the San Juan Mountains, which is part of the Rockies. The town is situated in a box canyon and surrounded on all sides by gorgeous mountain peaks and beautiful waterfalls. Bridalville Falls is the most popular and can be seen from town. Telluride is located in the southwest part of Colorado. It was founded in 1878 as a mining town, and you can still see some weathered old mining ruins around the area. Telluride became a National Historic Landmark District in 1964 and it's popular for its small town charm with a very friendly and casual atmosphere. The town is dog friendly and everywhere you look, you'll see people in a hiking attire, walking their dogs and sitting with their dogs at an outdoor patio at one of the many restaurants enjoying this awesome area. Heading to the gondola. Yep, heading down to the gondola right now. We're in Telluride. It is a gorgeous day. We're excited. Heading to the Telluride station. Let's see it. The gondola from Telluride to Mountain Village is free and the views from the gondola are truly breathtaking. Here you will experience the most amazing views with the highest concentration of peaks in the U.S. ranging from 13,000 to 14,000 feet. 
It is like nothing we have ever seen before and we just couldn't get enough of it. When we rode the gondola, it was a little confusing to us. We needed to slow down and look for the signs. We ended up riding four gondolas to get to where we wanted to go. We had to get off, then get back on several times, but we loved it. So we're heading into Mountain Village. So, so far we've screwed up our gondola rides many times because we don't know. <laughs> the signage isn't real clear and uh, I guess everybody knows what to do, but when you're new to the area, you really don't know what to do. So, but this is a very cool area. Look at this. It's, there's all kinds of shops and condos and restaurants. The gondola stops at three stations, Telluride, San Sofia, and Mountain Village which takes 13 minutes to reach the top with an elevation of 10,540 feet. The gondola has bike and ski racks. There are cars that are pet friendly and marked with paw prints, as well as cars that are handicap accessible. The gondola is open from 6 a.m. to midnight during summer and winter and closes for six weeks during the off season. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Mountain Village is perched above the historic town of Telluride and is the base area for Telluride Ski Resort in the winter. However, we were there in the summer and it feels like such a magical place to visit that it's just a short free gondola ride away. Mountain Village is filled with shops, lots of places to eat, and many places to just hang out and enjoy all the beauty that surrounds you here. A lot of people miss Mountain Village, so be sure to check it out when you visit Telluride. Telluride Ski Resort is the main attraction in the winter, however it becomes a haven for mountain bikers and hikers in the summer. You can also rent a mountain bike here and get your pass. If you're a mountain biker, this is actually a really good place to be. Yeah. There are tons of trails. Yeah, definitely. We talked to several people on the gondola and everyone was so nice. Some were locals, some were there on vacation. Each one had such an admiration for Telluride that we definitely shared. There are many celebrities that have vacation homes in Telluride. Names like Oprah, Tom Cruise, Jerry Seinfeld, Robert Redford, Ralph Lauren, just to name a few. Goodness, this view. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. This is the best view ever. And it's free. Like you could just ride this up and down. Yep. Oh all day. man. Just stay on it. <laughs> just staying on it all day. You just gotta get out and pay for more parking. Here we are stopped again. Just swinging over to your ride. <laughs> City in Colorado. How about you, Ian? Yep, hands down. Definitely. So 
this was a great experience. I'm so glad we did this. Coming back down to Telluride from Mountain Village. I'm gonna get some lunch. Black bear. trip but next time we'll definitely be back this city is way too awesome to not come back to There are tons of places to eat in the town of Telluride. You can choose from quick and casual to high-end eateries. We chose Stronghouse Brew Pub, which we discovered on TripAdvisor. We decided to sit outside and enjoy the town. We ordered a pretzel appetizer and steak sandwiches with fries and it was delicious. It seems to rain almost every afternoon in Colorado while we were there for the nine weeks, but it always cleared up quickly. Randy's the best. He's walking in the rain get the deep so you can come pick me up. Here's my chauffeur. We also love Telluride for the three Jeep Baz trails that are definitely not for the faint of heart. Overpass, Imogene Pass, and Black Bear Pass. You need to do your research and make sure your 4x4 high clearance vehicle is ready before you consider these trails. We did Ofer and Imogene and we'll be releasing those videos soon so stay tuned. This is Telluride at the very end. And at the very end, you go to this mountain. <laughs> and this is Black Bear Pass, like the one of the most famous Jeep trails. And you can't really see it yet, but if I zoom in. There's lines going across for switchbacks. And that little house up there is like an overlook for Deep Falls. And then there's other falls up there. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed coming with us to tell your ride and enjoying the amazing gondola ride with us. It was such an awesome experience for us and we can't wait to visit it again. Next week, we're taking you to one of the most amazing drives in the US, the Million Dollar Highway. Some say it's the scariest road they've ever been on, but we absolutely loved it. We went several times and can't wait to share it with you. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Feet up on the dash and I call it open road Road trip classics on the radio With your hand tied in mine There's no such thing as time Now we can go anywhere you want to go We agree that we can say well, You're ever. making things like, up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Next week. <laughs> <laughs> also, <less. laughs> what does that even freaking mean?